And hello and what is up my friends, my name is Alex and I would like to welcome you to another episode of Grass in Class. And today we're going to be reviewing and testing these three 6 inch inline fans. We have our AC Infinity, the Mars Hydro in the middle, and all the way to the left the new competitor by Vivo Sun. Now friends, be sure to stay to the end of the video because I will be testing all three of these fans with the nanometer and trust me, the results might shock you, so be sure to watch the full video. Now, I bought this AC Infinity last year for $149 and I used it on a couple of grows and I have to say I was really happy with the results. However, since last year, these two companies have came out with a 6 inch inline fan with controller that offers the same service and practicability. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's take a look at the fan that I've owned the longest, this AC Infinity, and let's go through some of the things that I like about it. Now, whether you're mounting this fan to the wall or you're just simply taking it apart to clean it at the end of every season, you would definitely need to remove these clamps here in order to do so. Having those metal clamps instead of plastics will make sure that this will last longer. The same thing could be said for the mounting bracket at the bottom of the fan. Another thing that definitely came in handy was the length of the cords. The power cord and the cord that connects to the controller are extremely long, somewhere around 10 feet or so, giving you plenty of room to put this anywhere you would like without having to use extension cords. And one other thing, the propeller is made out of metal and the bearings, even though I was not able to see it, they do feel kind of smooth. But we are going to be testing the performance of these three fans in order for us to get a better idea of what we're spending our money in. Since we're not going to be taking them apart and looking at the interior or the motor, which is the thing that counts the most. Well, aside from the controllers. And speaking of controller. If you own an AC Infinity or have done the research on this brand, you will see that this controller comes in handy a lot. When comparing the Mars Hydro controller to the AC Infinity, we could see that there are very little differences. I would say the only difference would be the connectors and the placement where they are located. In the Mars Hydro, they are located on the top of the controller and the AC Infinity towards the bottom. As far as the buttons, they are located in the exact same place and the navigation through the system is identical. Meaning all your settings and capabilities are exactly the same. Now, when inspecting the Mars Hydro 6 inch inline fan, we can see that they definitely went with metal brackets along with the metal blades and the connecting clips where you're able to clean the fan properly. Those are also made out of metal. All the metal components do have a finish to them. I can't tell if it's paint or powder coated but I believe it could probably help with the tarnishing, especially over time. Now, when it comes to the wiring, Mars Hydro is using a little bit of different fittings when it comes to waterproofing the electrical components. However, that's not the issue that I'm having with the wiring. Instead, I'm finding the power cord too small, only four foot long. As I mentioned earlier, I would much rather have a longer power cord than me having to use extension cords. Especially on a component like a fan, which most of the time is going to be placed up high or further away from the extension cords or the outlets. However, the cable with the thermometer sensor on the tip, it is pretty long. And like I mentioned earlier, all the settings and capabilities of the controller are exactly the same as the AC Infinity.
Now, the Vivo Sun controller on the right, when comparing it to the AC Infinity controller on the left, we can see that again, there are few small differences. In this case, the connectors are a little bit different and the button size are different. As far as the button location, they are exactly in the same place. But as far as the settings and navigation, they are identical. However, this Vivo Sun controller has been marking a 5 degree temperature difference than the AC Infinity and my Mars Hydro. I made sure my temperature prong was clear of any objects and to have them in the same location, but yet it is still 5 degrees off from the start. As far as the power cable, I'm still having the same issues that I had with the Mars Hydro fan the power cable it is way too small another thing i noticed is that these braces were not made out of metal and that's something that we're really gonna have to be careful with being that it could get brittle over time not only us but the factory itself needs to also make sure these items are properly inspected You know, like my daddy once told me, at a price of $129.99 for the Vivo Sun, I don't want to see nothing wrong with it. And another thing, I'm not seeing why the quick disconnect on the thermometer cable. Could somebody in the comments please let me know why would you put a quick disconnect on there? And aside from that, at least the fan blades are still made out of metal. And as I mentioned earlier, since we're not going to be taking these fans apart, looking at the bearings and the motor inside, well, the next best thing that we could do is to measure the wind speed by placing an anemeter in front of the fan and measure how many miles per hour could these fans put out. But first, we're going to turn on these fans to the highest setting, in this case, and now friends, on this next VivoSun fan, could you please tell me in the comments why do you think this temperature difference when the thermometer tips are right next to each other? And alright my friends, before we start testing, let's go through some of the price differences. At number 1 is the AC Infinity for $149. Second is the Mars Hydro for $109. However, I'll leave discount codes in the description below where you can get it for even cheaper. And third would be the Vivo Sun for $129.99. And now my friends, before I start testing, if you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up as it helps out the channel tremendously. And if you're not subscribed, please do so because you're not going to want to miss out on the trees that we're about to harvest. But alright my friends, let's get back into it and see what kind of miles per hour these fans are pushing. Is it just a tropical storm or is it a hurricane or is it just a fart? And now my friends, I'd like to let the numbers do the talking for themselves so you guys can make up your mind and make up your decision on which fan do you think is best for you according to your budget and what you guys seen here today. And okay, my friends, I think that's about to do it. Unless you guys are interested in seeing what I've been using for, I don't know, a couple of years now. I've been using this little exhaust fan on like my small tents and this has really gotten me by. If you guys want to see me test this, just stick around because I'm going to be testing this next. 
I've been actually kind of curious to see what this little fan could do, being that I've used it in a couple of grows in the 2x2 and 2x4s and it performed really good. So, I mean, how would it stack up to the big boys? Again, keep in mind, this is just a $2 computer fan that I got from, geez, I don't know, Lego or something like that. I think it, this, this was so long ago and I've used it. I mean, you can see all the dust on this fan. I've used this fan quite a lot. And you guys have seen me probably talk about this fan on multiple videos. But as you can see, I'm pretty happy with this results. While it may not be a smart fan, it still gets the job done. And at the end of the day, that's really all I care about. But okay, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm not going to take any more of your time because I want you to watch the rest of my videos. So until next time, this is Grass and Class signing out. Peace. We got a cold porn on. Oh, shit. Porn on. Oh, shit. Porn on. Oh, shit. 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 O